What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let me start this video with a comparison of the two times Arnold Classic champion Tower Strofen, who intends to dethrone Chris Bumstead this year by bringing an undeniable package. Two weeks out of the Olympia last year, where he plays runner up versus seven weeks out of the Olympia 2022. It is the same spot, same lighting that Tawans uses to assess his progress. And I am convinced to say that not only does he look bigger overall at seven weeks out, but the condition is more or less the same, if not better than last year's prep. Tawans has said time and time again, he wasn't motivated during the offseason last year. He played catch up and still he beat all the guys except one. So, it is safe to say that Tawans looks to be the most dangerous guy that can pose a threat to Chris this year. Talking about C-Bomb, we have a little sneak peek of Chris Bumstead's physique from his latest YouTube video. I do not think we can say a lot by judging from these short clips, but he does look huge. Although he doesn't have the best arms in the division, but when that vacuum comes into play in that front double, it's beyond impressive. So, with a new coach like Honey Wambard this year, we are all excited to see what kind of changes and improvements Chris Bumstead brings this year. Urs Klesinski was spotted bringing up his weakest muscle group, his arms. He has been able to stay extremely relevant after last year's Olympia. He has earned that right. Top 4 at his Olympia debut. A lot of people had Urs beating Ramon at the Arnold Classic this year. And although he didn't beat Ramon, he did beat Brian Ansley. So he is an automatic pick for top 5 this year. Brian Ansley also looks incredible and this is him after 16 hours flight. I wish he could somehow manage to hit that stage weight without compromising his fullness. He always looks so good weeks out of the show. At least this has been the pattern in the last 2-3 to three showings. How will Brian do in the 212 if he takes a full off season to grow? And with that, here is a sneak peek of how William Bonac is looking at seven weeks out. And I have just one word for Bonac. Swole. More classic physique updates as the former Arnold Classic Champion and Top 6 from last year, Alex Cambronero keeps getting impressive as we enter the seven weeks out territory. Alex has placed as high as 4th in 2020. That was probably his career's best luck. He was originally a 212 guy and looking at his career, he has such a great career transforming from 212 to classic physique. So no one should be sleeping on this guy. Unfortunately, Mark Hector won't be competing next weekend in Spain due to a medical emergency. Turns out he had an injury which is causing swelling and inflammation around that area. Mark mentioned that he has been on clutches as he can't bend his legs. So Mark will get an MRI done in the coming days to figure out the extent of his injury. Hopefully, he recovers soon and comes back better in 2023. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.